Welcome back everybody. My name's Sam and it has been a while. Over a month since my last video, we have crossed 11,000 subscribers, which is absolutely wild because the last time I was here at my parents' place, well, yeah, the last time I recorded a video was almost two plus years ago. And this is kind of where it started, where I got into the groove and wanted to create more videos of me adventuring and poems that I had. And speaking of poems, that's what today's video is about. I'm gonna say it and tell you more of the meaning behind it afterwards. So I hope you enjoy this. It's called those three words. <laughs> those three words, I need help. Beyond my comfort zone, I reached out. Not a sign of weakness, a moment I was speechless. Inner strength, these suppressed emotions flowed out. Strong enough to push down this wall, bottled up feelings began to overflow. The lost parts of me started to show. Planting the seed with my faith, I learned <laughs> it's true. There is a better way. If I plant the seed today, a little can create lasting change. The season walking through darkness, a stranger in my body, an imposter in my mind, searching for all the reasons I thought I was left behind. Feeling misunderstood, stuck in this character building chapter, every struggle, a hidden lesson, a chance to go deeper, my roots to grow stronger. Rejected, then redirected, into something better, a pivotal point, starting from our potential. So hear me when I say, my friend, it's okay to not be okay because it's possible to overcome everything that comes our way. Now, <laughs> this poem means a lot. It's very personal. It starts from me struggling with my mental health. It's me overcoming struggles. It is about my dream about my desire of moving out from this very home one and a half years ago more now I moved from North Island, New Zealand to the South Island over 700 kilometers away from my family and I'm not going to lie, it's been difficult but the message is that it's completely possible and maybe you're in a season where you're being tested, where you feel like everything is going wrong, where challenges are showing up and you're like, how can I get through this? And like, can I get through this? This video is to show you that you can get through it. It's completely possible. And you don't have to hold it all together. You don't have to bottle up everything. The main part of this poem is the message that admitting we're struggling, admitting our struggles and asking for help is not a weakness. It's a strength. It takes strength to reach out actually does it doesn't mean you are less of a person we have brokenness but as soon as we admit like I am struggling I am an imperfect person I have my flaws and because of them I am who I am and another massive part of this is my faith Through my faith, I have learnt, being Christian just over four years, maybe I'll do a separate video on this, but through my faith I have learnt that in my weakness, 
there is so much strength in Jesus. When I'm weak, he's strong. He's always strong. But it's completely normal for me to feel weak. And it's really healthy to admit that I can't do it on my own strength. That I am just a, just a human being. But in saying that, being a human being isn't that incredible. The odds of us being alive are something like one in 400 trillion. So yeah, that's what this poem means. It's okay not to be okay. And there is more strength. There is complete strength in reaching out. And it's healthy. It's healthy. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't didn't uh, want to show my feelings. You know, like tall poppy syndrome. Um, I didn't want to admit or let others see that I wasn't okay. And I think it's it's become a culture to put on a brave face and just shove our feelings so far down that we almost forget who we are. We hide us. We bury parts of ourselves that actually define us. All the mistakes we make are mistakes, but it begins with perspective. It begins with gratitude. It begins with humility, with empathy, standing up for what we believe in, standing up for others who we believe in, and being open, being open in life is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, like the, the part of the poem as well where I say, a stranger in my body, an imposter in my mind. You know, we, we try so hard as human beings, as Gen Z, <laughs> as people in our 20s, as people in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, to try and be this other person, to try to please people in a wrong way. And we end up as losing who we are because we want to fit into this impossible, unrealis unrealistic, <laughs> completely, yeah, just wrong, like mold, this expectation to have everything together all the time is actually really bad. It's completely unhealthy. So that's, that's me, <laughs> that's my poem, those three words, describing my journey of asking for help, my journey of growing, as a person, individual, a, yeah, a season of growth in my faith, of kind of surprising myself, you know, going deep, going very deep, and you know, depth, depth in general is a good thing. Let's be a generation Let's be a culture, a, a city, a country, a world where we go deep, where we no longer just keep it on the surface. Instead of pushing our emotions deep down and having, you know, surface level conversations and yeah, let's just be more deep, more genuine, and it all starts 
was asking for help. Not a sign of weakness, but through strength from the inside out. So that's, that's the video. I'm going to do a few more before I leave. Um, maybe I'll play some guitar and make a video out of it. <laughs> uh, but that's my poem, yeah. Those three words. I really hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. It's nice and sunny now. Sun's out. Birds are flying. <laughs> um, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are still watching, if anybody made it to this part of the video, right to the end, A, I hope you subscribe, <laughs> and B, leave a comment, show some love, share this video, because I truly think that this message, this poem, can help a lot of people. And it's a message that is so needed in today's world. That reaching out is strength. That you do not have to struggle in silence. And that it's okay to not be okay. Subscribe everyone. <laughs> and have a great day. Peace.